Hey guys, welcome back. So today I actually have two articles that I want to go through and um, I think it's because I haven't been in touch with all this Chia stuff that I kind of miss these two articles and it was it was pretty interesting. I don't know if you guys actually caught on to it. Um, there wasn't a lot of publicity over it. There wasn't a lot of uh, links. Maybe because they were talking smack about Chia, um, but not heavily. Not not really insanely like, you know, Chia sucks or anything like that. But it just, it was kind of like piggybacking off the whole thing that it's supposedly better than Bitcoin. But how is it any better than Bitcoin? That's basically what I was trying to say in the two articles. And let me show you guys really quick. But before we continue on with that, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm releasing content relatable to the everyday poor investor such as yourself. So that's pretty much what I do. Uh, you know, I do talk a lot of things and uh, mostly Chia, a lot of things about Chia actually. I am getting into this whole ethical hacking, password cracking. So stay tuned for a lot more content in regards to that, all right? And right now I am going to go over the two articles that, you know, that I found pretty recent and it's not a year ago, you know, there was a, a whole bunch of articles coming out from all these different publishers, different companies talking about Chia, you know, but that hype has slowed down tremendously right now. Like, where is all that? The only people that I actually see talking about Chia are the ones on Twitter, and they're trying so hard to get other people jumping on this ship that I don't... I, it, these two articles, it's going to explain why... I feel people are not into Chia as much as everyone who's in Chia wants them to be. All right. So here in question are the two articles that we're talking about. Chia coin, an explainer on XCH cryptocurrency and its network. That's just the title. This was released on 19th of October, 2022. It wasn't too long ago. All right. Updated November 24th, 2022. So that was fairly recent. It was only a month ago. All right. Second article, Chia coin. Why greener doesn't always mean better. And this was October 7th, 2021. Now, this was a little dated, but for some reason, I didn't come across this article. I don't know why. I thought I was covering a lot of my bases on where I was getting my information from. And, you know, it's just another person's opinion. Now, this is... This is the inquirer.net. Now, I don't know. I, I normally don't go on the inquirer.net. I don't know what kind of business they, they, you know, they talk about a lot of things, all right, business related, financial. But how do they even end up talking about Chia is another story. But today's price, 3114. Someone is keeping the price of Chia like ridiculously high. No one wants it to drop below the 30 mark. I mean, it hit 20 something like briefly, but it didn't stay there long. Um, we're looking at the node counts, 125,000, almost 126 across the world. All right, guys, across the world. Look, look, this is the world. And it's China still number one on top. A lot of counts, a lot of node counts up in China. United States, we have 18,000. Now, if you if you think about that logically, in the United States, just the United States alone, that doesn't sound like a lot, but it is. 18,000 nodes is a lot. The fact that there's 18,000 nodes, let's just say it's one for one. There's 18,000 people farming Chia in the United States. I mean, some people may have more than one farm. But for the most part, everyone should only have one farm. It, it doesn't make sense to have more than one farm, uh, in my opinion. Not sure why you would need more than one farm, to be honest, unless you're doing it for someone else. But anyway, let us uh, let me clear. How the hell did I clear? All right, clear that. We are looking for XCH over here. Where's the XCH? Ridiculously small, isn't it? Um, everything is up for some strange reason. And where the hell is it? Guys, this is like, I should just come online to do a video just for you guys to find XCH in this crypto bubble. I know it's here. And you guys are probably pointing. And I, I don't, you know, because this is pre-recorded, you'd be like, idiot, it's like right in front of you. Where? Where the hell is it? 
I swear I saw it earlier and I was like, okay, I got it. I got it. I do not see it now. It couldn't have dropped below the top 200s, right? Holy shit, it's right here. Oh my goodness. Rank 140, 3158 over here. All right, guys, let's go back to this one. The more relevant, more recent Tia coin, an explainer on XCH cryptocurrency and its network. I want to get my infamous. Uh, I'm so excited to have this now. I have this um, right on draw on the screen and I can actually, there's an eraser here. I can get rid of that. So freaking cool. Hardly a month goes by when the Bitcoin network's questionable energy footprint doesn't become a bashing point in some new study highlighting the crypto industry's alleged disproportionate contribution to climate change. I'm going to skip through all this because I don't want to read it word for word because that's like defeating the whole purpose of why I'm even doing a video. Um, Chia also inspires aspires to double down on bitcoin by embracing its core principles and good economics we've heard that before bram saying uh nakamoto consensus i had to look that up so many damn times like what the hell does that even mean right um let's go down a little further read on for the deep dive in the crypto chia crypto xch and the broader blockchain ecosystem surrounding it so in this guide what is chia network we've heard that many times but we will review that right now for these newcomers new newbies that are coming into chia and xch you get, you get to hear me explain all this in like more up-to-date times because no one else is doing it who, who who else is talking about chia in 2022 right now heading into 2023 no one's even mentioning it all they say is or at least what i see so far from the Twitter space is, oh, we should use, or you should use Chia for NFTs. Well, I'm, I'm not into that whole NFT stuff. I got downvoted so many times on Reddit because I, I made a comment about NFTs on Chia. And I was like, oh, great, more JPEGs. And, the, and they just started downvoting me. Like, I mean, that was the reality of it. But they wanted to use NFTs for coffee why the fuck would i need a a, a ledger blockchain to purchase to validate that i have purchased coffee in the past I, I couldn't make any sense of it but anyway chia network under the hood all right deep dive into it chia coin versus bitcoin how are they different you know that's the one that's gonna probably stand out the most for us let's go into point four all right number four Chia coin versus Bitcoin. Uh, and I kind of missed. Sorry about that. I, I was on the wrong screen. The transaction verification mechanism is different on both networks. While Bitcoin relies on POW consensus mechanism. All right. Chia coin utilizes POST. A terminology that not a lot of people still understand or use or even know exist. POST. Because proof of space and time. It's just, it doesn't flow out as naturally as proof of work, POW, or POS, piece of shit. You have to say piece of shit too, you know, like POST. Just joking, guys. Proof of space and time, not not proof of shit too, meaning T-O-W or T-O-O. Bitcoin is energy intensive as its mining process requires high-end mining rigs with high-performance processor and graphics card. In contrast... Chia only utilizes unused disk space on normal computer system to mine the Chia coin called farming. But I, I'm going to have to rebuttal that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to argue with that. Only, Chia only, look, look at this, only utilizes unused disk space. You know how much unused disk space you would need or require to make any significant amount of XCH? Uh, although, you know, Bitcoin's been around for a minute, all right? I can understand that it requires very, very intensive energy usage uh, just to get a small, small fraction. But right now, Chia, one year, two years old, only unused space. You know how much unused space just for one plot is, what, what is it, like 100 gigabytes, right? How many, how many can you fit on a 4 terabyte, 8 terabyte, 12 terabyte? You, it, it comes, you know, right now as being a Chia farmer, it has come to a point in time where I'm seeing myself like 
holy shit, you know, oh, that drive is only eight terabytes. I could only fit that many plots on it. But damn me if I could ever fill in my entire life eight terabytes worth of sensitive, important, critical, life-saving, family files. I don't, I'm not even talking about pictures, video. Forget all that stuff. I, that's not, if I lose it, I lose that. But documentations, scan documentations, whatever, whatever it is that I have. Eight terabytes probably in my lifetime I will never even utilize. The most I will probably have to get, I'll, I'll probably have two eight terabytes only because I want to make it redundant. But at the same time, that eight terabyte won't even be filled. I would say probably less than half, less than 50% of that drive would be filled with maybe important stuff. The other half was probably, I, I, it'll be empty, right? So, so basically they're saying fill whatever you have left or empty with Chia, farm Chia. Now, I would never mix the two. I would never mix my personal important stuff with any crypto. I don't care what Chia says. I don't, I don't care how Chia is so reliable. It's not the fact that I don't trust Chia. I don't trust the individuals who are attempting to compromise Chia or any other crypto for that matter. So that's why I will keep that separation even if it was just my family photos and videos and pictures and all that other good stuff, I would never even mix that with my crypto stuff. Just separation all the way. All right. Bitcoin has a maximum supply of 21 million coins. On the other hand, Chia has no such caps and a team overseeing the project rather prefers predictable, continuous inflation. What the hell does it even mean? I thought there was a cap for Chia as well. Um, how to protect yourself from inflation using cryptocurrency. All right, that was just an article that was linked here. I, 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 they're just selling themselves. I, oh, this is dated too. I'm not even going to look at that. Chia Coin XCH is the native asset of Chia. Uh, XCH uh, is the native asset to the Chia network. It deploys a custom-made version of Bitcoin's unspent transaction output a UTXO model, which is a key incentive mechanism that supports the Nakamoto algorithm now if you guys don't know what the nakamoto algorithm is oh i guess i'll show it here like whatever uh, right here it a it is a what the hell why isn't that being i can't even pronounce that fault tolerant consensus algorithm that works in conjunction with proof of work pow to govern the bitcoin blockchain if you don't still don't understand what that means, you can probably watch a video on that. I still try to get gather my head around understanding all that. Um, and the first time I probably heard more of that is when Bram constantly started saying that Nakamoto consensus, blah, blah, blah. And then Gene would say it too. Nakamoto consensus. Like they lived by it, whatever it is. Block producers on the Chia blockchain are rewarded in XCH for their contribution towards securing the network. As such, Chia farmers can contribute their unused storage space to the network and early, freshly minted XCH. All right. So this article goes a little deeper. Um, how to buy the Chia crypto. It, it names a, a couple of exchanges on this. It's still relevant. It's still up to date because this article is fairly recent. Uh, criticism against Chia network. All right. The criticism. Let's look at the criticisms. While Chia, already, uh, while Chia has already made a mark on uh, as one of the most promising green crypto project, it has its fair share of critics. And now this is where, this is where a lot of people or individuals who are not into this whole mining, farming Chia with hard drives, these are the individuals. The most serious concern about the project stems from the need for a huge number of hard disk. That is so true. I've said it in the past in my old videos. And I've said that GPU mining is definitely more active, more fun. Um, not, you know, profitable. No, nothing's really profitable in this, this um, sector right now of crypto farming or mining, whatever the hell you do. Um, the thing is, the point is that hard drives are dull and boring, all right? The resale values of those is close to none, meaning... Most people who are not farming Chia would probably not buy 
tons and tons of terabytes of hard drives. As a consumer, home user, or even if I was a movie editor and a whole movie production studio, cartoon network, you know, storing files or whatnot, or, or I build a lot, you know, I probably produce a lot of animes or whatever. I would not buy a bunch of used drives. I would want drives that are more reliable, right? And have warranty on it. I don't want to start pouring sensitive data that I have, proprietary data that I have, terabytes of it into drives that are used or potentially have no warranty. And if they fail, I'm screwed, right? But even if they had warranty and they failed, you're still screwed. So you still have to find a way to kind of make those redundant as well. So the increased manufacture of hardware will eventually lead to high electronic waste and emission. True, because that applies to anything. Just, but do not argue the fact that, oh, GPU, there's a lot of, um, you know, e-waste or there's a lot of e-waste with televisions and TV monitors. Yes, yes, there is. Hard drives included. So that's the point of this. There's a lot of, there's still a lot of e-waste. Uh, when the demanding skyrocketing due to Chia farming, the prices hard drives, uh, prices of hard drives can also surge significantly. That goes with everything. That you know, when the hard drive, yeah, when Chia was hot for a minute, when it was like fifteen thousand dollars a coin, yeah, damn freaking hard drive prices were insanely expensive, and it was not even like people were even questioning at that point because oh, XCH is fifteen hundred dollars a coin. I'm gonna buy, you know, freaking what was it like twenty dollars a terabyte drive at that point you know even though average most of us probably spent around 15 uh 15 a terabyte which is damn expensive even in today's standards right to sum it up despite the shortcoming she is hands down far more energy efficient than bitcoin all right we'll give it that one any large-scale chia farming hub would probably see more like cold storage if compared to the energy guzzling hot houses bitcoin farming mining farms are Yes and no. You, if you have seen some large farms of chia, uh, those hard, the amount of hard drive just to maintain the 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 coolness. All right, it it still generates heat. It still generates electricity. It's not perfect, but it's just saying that it's less than what Bitcoin is doing. All right, we'll we'll give it that one. The chia network proves its worth as a superior alternative to Bitcoin and other. PLD, uh, POW networks. The only way it can accomplish that effectively is by communicating its use case to new users and galvanizing community support. Otherwise, it would be a lot more environmentally friendly by not existing at all. That is like a punch to the gut, guys. Can you believe that? It just basically said at the very end of this article, you read the entire article, it would just say, if you can't produce... Or if you can't convince anyone, or if you really want to convince everyone that you're more energy efficient, you might as well not even exist because that's the best energy efficiency ever. All right. Maybe I read that into that wrong or, or differently, but that was my take on it. That's how I'm, I'm seeing it. The only way you could accomplish this effectively is by communicating its use case. Although I, I haven't seen any use case yet. And don't don't argue with me about this whole carbon credit thing. This carbon credit thing has nothing to do with XCH. They're using the technology for it. They're probably producing a whole different coin on that aspect. But it's not XCH related. All right. The technology is. The farming of it is. Not XCH itself. Remember that, guys. Newbies, just be clear of that. New users and galvanizing community support. <laughs> Constantly. Constantly, the community is constantly trying to convince new individuals uh, getting into Chia, but it's a tough sell. It's honestly a tough sell only because, and in, in my serious opinion, is that hard drives are damn boring. I do not like buying hard drives. They're boring. You plug them in, they don't do anything. There's no fans on it. There's no fancy LED lights. They look like bricks. They're literally bricks, metal bricks. All right, I, I went into a little too much into this one article. Um, I, I did say that I had two articles, right? But the other one wasn't that far off. It wasn't, 
it, it went through you know proof of space proof of time it was explaining it it had a couple of tweets and i'll show you guys right here it had a couple of tweets about chia uh what are some issues with the chia coin let's go just go through that one really quick and the issue is despite its goal of being better than bitcoin it suffers from, it suffers from a similar problem and that is because chia coin fails to consider human behavior in its goal wow this one this one was brutal all right Biz, uh, bitcoin uses a lot of processing power in response, Shia has a system that uses storage space instead. This seems like it's just passing the problem to a new piece of hardware. Ooh. These articles are like bashing Chia. Subtly though. Very subtle. All right. So so here, I'm gonna link these two articles in um in the description below. This one is from the end. I've never actually I've I've never been to these sites, but I was just searching and seeing what what news relevant chia news or recent more new, recent even though this one's a little dated back in um 2021 of october and i don't know how i missed this one uh honestly there were so many that was coming out that i just didn't even like catch all of it so here look chia's uh this is kind of old this is 2021 chia's coin f uh f falling price could flood the market with spent ssd it was it, it, not just the SSDs, the mechanical drive, because people started shutting down their farms. Again, guys, nothing is perfect, all right? And there's going to be a lot of, uh, you know, haters, of course. There's going to be a lot of people who can't even, doesn't even have an opportunity to hate because they're just not going to jump on the project because Chia, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, as much as Ethereum mining was a thing, obviously not everyone was doing it. So you only have a small percentage of a very niche market. So break that down even more. You have a, a smaller niche market for people, hard drive farming, XCH. All right. I want to thank you guys for being here. Please remember to hit that like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you enjoy content like this where I have discussions with you one-on-one -on -one as if, you know, we're, we're buddies. We are actually. You are my buddy. And that's why you're going to hit the like and comment. And you're always going to come back and check out my videos. All right. I want to thank you guys for being here. And I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.